What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome to the new week. All right, guys, we're going to jump into this one here. This is Saul 1432. Now, I do not get credit for this. This credit goes out to Grant McLean. Uh, he posted this in Martian Genesis on the 13th, I believe. So we're talking a few days ago, right? And to me, it's another great find. And it is absolutely, when you do see it, it is absolutely intelligently made for several reasons. We're going to get into that. And I'm also going to show you more blatant manipulation real quick. And then we're going to jump right into that. This is the photo right here. And you can see it up at the top here. There's Mars, JPL, NASA.gov. And of course, it is MSL, which is the Curiosity Rover. And you've got uh, raw images, which are not raw. To me, raw is untouched, you know, just straight from the actual rover. But regardless, and uh, of course, it is 1432 mass cam. You can see M cam. Now, when I seen this, uh, I was just like, wow, that is cool. And of course, uh, Grant had zoomed in and shown this anomaly a lot better. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here, I'm going to zoom in just a hair bit more for you guys. This is neat. Check this out. We've got this cutout right here. You see it right here. 90 degree angle. Kind of has this little bit of waviness on the edge of that. But look at this canister that appears inside. Okay. He calls it a column. His was called columns on surface. So, makes sense, right? We've got this item right here. We've also got this item right here. And several other things I'm going to show you. I'm going to point out. But this whole back right here is completely manipulated. Again, they've used that weird... You know, like squares they put over there, and it's just blur, and they can put whatever color texture they want. Jump into Photoshop. Here you are. We made it a little bit bigger, as you can see. Guys, are you kidding me right now? Check that out. Right here. Well, check out the wall. So I can do this without this mouse moving on me too much. Right here. It actually goes in, has this curvature a little bit. And then comes back out. We also got this piece right here. Appears to be doing this. And then comes back down. But it's inside like a compartment or some kind of dugout area. Whatever it may be. What is that? You can see that this thing has some kind of rounded domish type thing to it. Right here. Comes up like this here. And then back down. Almost like this bottleneck thing here. Comes down this way. Of course, this mouse is not going to be too straight. And we also have what look like little details on this thing. This could be anything. But to me, it still screams intelligently made. Now, let me back out of this a little bit. Now, let's get all the color and crap off this thing real quick. Right here. Now, let me just show you this real quick. And then we're going to jump back. Go right over here. We're going to go into the black plate. Now, check this out, guys. I mean, listen, you don't have to be an Einstein to see this. Look at it. You can see right where they've done this. Of course, this isn't white now because I am in black plate. There is no color as far as red or anything of that sort. Goes across, goes back down. Okay, and you can see all of this detail. You can see right here where they've done this. Goes like this and goes up. Okay, look at all the detail here. No problem whatsoever. Complete crap right here. They want you to believe that it's sand, right? It's not. Because you can literally see where they cut off areas to that. I mean, I can draw this with ease because I can see it with ease. And look at this around this area alone. Look what they've done here. That's all you're seeing of this detail right here. And if you really look, check this thing out. Whatever this is, it's kind of rounded. See? Kind of doing this here. And you're only seeing the small part of it because they blocked it out. But check that thing out. Whatever that is right there. Laying right there. But you can see where they've literally taken it out. All right. And, and guys, it's all over the picture. And that's, that's what's sad. All in here. Taking it out. Mush. Now, I try to bring that out a little bit later. And I'll show you that briefly. There's no camera that's going to do that. It's just going to spot blur it. Unless, of course, you get something on the lens. That would make sense. Up here. You can see exactly what they've done on good spot blur to get rid of this garbage on this. Yeah, almost everywhere you look, there's some kind of manipulation and obfuscation. But yet, they leave out certain things for you to see. 
And I've always said that. If you're inquisitive enough, you'll find it. Okay. Just wanted to point that out briefly in just a certain spots. Now let's really jump into this. All right. Now let's have a better look at this because this is, this is what it looked like. All right. Guys, come on. Look at that thing. That is insane. What other things you might say is in this photo? Well, let's have a look. This item over here strikes me as definitely not natural. Let's see if we can't bring it out. Okay. More detail just by using the burn tool. And you can see this area right here without doing anything to it. In fact, I'll just go to the, the photo right there, the standard photo. And there you go. See these little details? Well, that's what pops out when you start burning into this. You're just bringing out the lines already there, but they tried to fade it out. Objects right here. Now, what's funny about this part is that look at these little details inside here in the shadowed area. One, two, three, and they're long. You guys see that? We go back up to here. And you can see that area right there. But whatever this thing is clearly is not natural. You can see the lines to it. You can see the shapes of it. Circle. Well, we didn't do that right, but right there. Another dark circle in there. Another piece right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay. And you can see where I've tried to go over this right here. There's something under there, but because it's so blurred out, it's kind of hard to make it out. I'm not sure what to make of that thing either. This piece right here. Okay. Notice the objects here on the ground. It almost has this arch-like shape to it. You've got another one here. See it right there? Oh, I kind of went a little tight on that. Right there. And these other pieces in the ground. It's almost like where they're just peeking out and they decide to try to use a texture to try to hide these things. And it's in the regular photo, guys. You can see that. I do this here. It's right there. You can still see them in there. The only difference is I just brought them out better. Okay. This is what I also find interesting. Out of all of these supposed rocks, you've got this perfectly good square sitting right here underneath. Right there. Okay. You can see that pretty done good. And it just happens to be under these rocks. And guys, most of these things you're seeing right here, and I'll bet my life on it, that they're not rocks. This right here, not a rock. This, I don't believe that's a rock, but that's 50-50 to me. This, possibly 50-50. Uh, but here's a couple other things I want you guys to see. This is pretty cool, too. All right, we've got two things in this area alone, right? First, we've got this item, or these items, right here. This is cool right here look at the details on this things guys check out the details coming down straight like this here going like this going back and look at the features or whatever's in here going across and i'm going to enhance this a little bit better so you guys can see this but you got one two three going across you can see something going across like this here and look at going in the back Cause they're wider than the actual mocks I'm putting on there now. Okay, let's enhance it. It is not natural in any way, shape, or form. It's all there is to it. Something right there, right above that. It's in this little recessed area. And whatever that is, is two dots. Is one, two. Of course, I kind of went over it, and I'll show you that in a second. Right there. Right. Okay. That alone, to me, no way. Is that natural? What about this piece? Look at this right here. This is cool. Because it's in the ground, and I'm going to show you this a little bit better in a second, but there's something else back here that it's attached to. Now, when you see this firstly, you, just, you see this going like this. Almost like that. Going like this here. It has some kind of smaller detail in the center, but you can see this thing continues on. All right? But there's something more to it. And that something more is right here. You can see the outside shape of it right there. Or the outline of it. What would you will. See that right there? You can see that right there. 
See that? Okay. Enhance it. Look at this. Just by burning, you can see these objects now. Pretty darn good as far as the shape of them, right? Going like this. That's supposed to be a little bit narrower than that. Stopping right there. And you can see it just underneath here. Now, take note of what this thing is. It's like it's going into this other part right here. Going like this. It seems to be rounded. Goes like this here. And, of course, you can't really make out the rest of it because it's on the other side of it. But it appears to be a shadow under here. See that? Now, what do you guys think about that? That is neat. With the actual details that's in it, right? Now, let's take just a little bit of color off. Okay. Again, this object on this side. Right here. And guys, I'm sure if you really, really dug, you can find a lot more things in here. No doubt, in my mind, just look around. Crazy, crazy things. Whatever that is. Now, that could be part of a rock, but I don't think so because this has been blurred. You can see it right in here where they've kind of messed with that. But look at the way this thing goes like this, comes back down. Is it possible a rock can do that in nature? Yes. Not likely. Not here when you start to see these other parts to it, right? So I believe there's much more to it than that. Um, but guys, take a look. Take a little bit of the color out so you don't have just this color distortion messing with your eyes too badly. There you go. Like I said, one last time on this. Coming down. Kind of does this concave kind of thing. Comes back straight out. And you can see this object right here. Coming up, like I said, it looks like it kind of narrows down like a bottle, like a bottleneck type. Has this kind of a domish like thing. Like that. With this object, whatever that is sticking out of this. That to me, when you start to see objects that do that, like I said, just this alone. Going over, coming back, and coming down like this. And like I said, this area of this corner comes down, appears to do this, and then back down. Just the fact that this object, this object here, is hidden in an area, in a corner, that right off the bat, guys, you got to say, okay, clearly that's not natural. And to me, it's not. Let me show you this real quick, too. Right here, got this part right here. Of course, there's a lot more intricate details. It looks like something going up like this, but check this out. We have what looks like identical pieces coming up and over. And then there's something right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. Right there. Like I said, these other objects right here. Mechanical, guys. Mechanical. Now, you guys, as always, I'm sure you'll find more. Definitely point them out. Make sure you give a timestamp so everybody else can see them as well. Here's another thing that's down here. And I brought out a little bit of it. Down in this area here. That's just a cluster of mess of junk. I'm not sure what that is. But I was able to burn out this right here. Check that out. Clearly, it looks like something's going down like this, like this, and it has what looks like almost like a two-finger thing coming off that. See that? All right, and then you got a, this thing going like this. Something right here. Seems to have this small opening, but you can see it coming back. This piece is going like this here. Something right there, another darker detail to it. Something is buried in here. And look at the way this thing is, man. It's symmetrical. Something right on top doing the same exact thing. Okay, and you can actually see it just underneath. It's actually stacked. It almost looks like it's stacked. It actually does this. If you look at it carefully, some other part to this. Looks like it's silver or some kind of shiny piece or reflecting steel. See that? Something over here as well. And what I find interesting about this is right here, you can see this going just like this. And going back. Look at the features on it, though, doing this. Again, intelligently made, guys. Look at this. Look at the way that thing is made. That is just neat. Absolutely mechanical, as well as stone. It could very well be this object up here. Could absolutely be some kind of column. Although I think it's a canister or some kind of mechanical pot. But it could be either or. Again, pure speculation. That's all we can do here because, again, like I've said, and this is basically for the newcomers that are watching this, is that there's no way to actually physically pick these things up or go there to see exactly what it is. So what we can do is speculate here, right?
That's all we can do. And, of course, I tell you what I think it is, or at least point it out, and then, of course, I get your thoughts on it, right? And just real quick on these other two pieces, and these right here. And this pile right here. There you go, guys. Guys, as usual, drop your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you're seeing here. I'm seeing, and maybe my mind's just geared to see mechanical, but that's what I see. I'm sure you guys will see other things in there. Pull this photo apart, check it for yourself, and then give me your thoughts as usual. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, and then hit that notification bell on the right-hand side of it so you're, you get the uh, newest videos coming out and you'll be uh, alerted to those. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video.